champions beating funny enough Paul the sixth who just beat Sierra Canyon in our last game Thomas was named the MVP of that tournament he had 26 points in the title game yeah he's a problem for teams on the defensive end nice open and play by Bishop Gorman and Wani Wilkinson finishing the lob 66 senior Bishop Gorman in the blue of course Oak Hill in the white and there is Thomas on the board early with a three We weren't joking when we talked about Cam Thomas lighting up a scoreboard. I mean, he comes out right away, ready to score. Doesn't take him much to get warmed up. And Thomas has it all, right? You, you hear that cliche so much, score at three levels, right? He has that ability. He has demonstrated that consistently over the last two years. He really has. I mean, sometimes he's a volume scorer, which means he'll take a lot of shots to get a lot of points. But he's dangerous because he plays with great confidence on his own Michigan State. Into the corner. That's Wilkinson with a three ball. Senior with offers from USC, UNLV, LSU, Vanderbilt, and Texas Tech. Oh, kill okay, at the other end. Okafomo. Trainers are working on him. You see 10 in the blue, a corner, middle of your picture, just at the end of the bench. As they are working on his side and giving him a fresh wrap. Took a hard fall in their game here on Saturday. Robinson buries the three. Oak Hill is in front. Well, you just take a look at their history in the Geico National Championship Tournament year after year, and especially in recent history since 2015. Of course, they won it all in 2016 with that tip-in at the buzzer in overtime against Lalamir Hadim C with that tip-in. But Oak Hill overall, nine mythical national championships, the one Geico National title in 2016, 30 plus McDonald's All-Americans, Carmelo Anthony, Rajon Rondo, Steve Smith coach Kevin Durant also in high school for a brief period. There's a reason that Steve Smith has been at it for 36 years. Will Wade next season at LSU. Yeah, Coach Wade wants him to score, but you have to score within the framework of your team and with efficiency. Four on one for Oak Hill. Maddox with the lay-in, right 94th in the ESPN 100. You know, Oak Hill, Paul, has four ESPN ranked players, but Cam Thomas is their highest ranked at number 20. Of course, last year they had a top five talent in Cole Anthony. Steve Smith said, you know, a lot of, a lot of players that he was recruiting didn't want to play alongside Cam Thomas. So he was able to find pieces that were willing to defer to Thomas, who was going to be the leading scorer, as Wilkinson now has 11 for Bishop Gorman. And Steve Smith is 100% right. I mean, when a guy looks to shoot it often and sometimes takes some bad shots, he can be hard to play with. K.K. Robinson drains the three. He's got eight. Uh, he made that one look easy. Part of that Arkansas. And again, he was playing in this event at this time last year. How crazy is that? You know, going to be definitely top five. Could very well be number one overall in the NBA draft. Three-pointer for Bishop Gorman. Tying the score at 19 in the final minute. We just think we had Zion Williamson here two years ago, the number one pick in the draft. Ryan Abelman hit the three. Evan Johnson is at the other end. Oak Hill retaking the lead. Evan Johnson, five in the white from Charlotte, North Carolina. Quick, tough point guard. He's got some mid-major offers. App State, Hampton, UMBC. Steve Smith now playing a 1-3-1 zone. Deflected by Derek Jones. And at the end of the shot clock, it's Wilkinson with the jam. The end of the first quarter. Imwani Wilkinson with 13 points for the Gales. Bishop Gorman almost turned it over. They knocked down the open three. They beat the 1-3-1. Wilkinson. Push-ups at the rim. 
23 in the blue right there for Bishop Foreman. 13 points on six of six shooting in the first. Hot shooting continues for Gorman. Braden Lamar drills the three. Oak Hill got off to a fast start in this game. Bishop Gorman fought their way back in. Terrific offense by the Gales. And Thomas off the mark. Derek Jones, the bucket and one. Now this guy is an athlete, 23 in the white. We're gonna see something, a highlight by Derek Jones sometime by the end of the day. Here he is working the glass on the weak side. This is him on the wing. Yeah, Pat does a terrific job, longtime college coach. He's building that Towson State program. A great block. Bradley Ezzerero sticking with it though. Ezzerero signed with LSU. So a high school teammate of Cam Thomas's. He'll be a college teammate of his. What sport <laughs> did he sign with? <laughs> My goodness gracious. Big, big dude. Ed Orgeron. Yes, Come national on. champions. Get on the phone. Make him a two sport athlete. <laughs> Davis with the floater there. Yeah, Ezzerero, 30 in the white. Listed Paul at 6'9", 280. Would you like him on the defensive line? I don't want to go anywhere near him unless we're out for dinner. Come on, two right now. Let's see where that goes. KK Robinson to the rack. Count it and the foul. Robinson now in double figures. Well, KK Robinson is quick and he's fast. Look at him navigate. Finds the open pocket of space. Strong take, good body control. Thomas slashing in. Left the floater short. Robinson recovers. Down low to Thomas. Robinson set the table. Yeah, great two-way hustle. Maddox the spin. Out to KK Robinson. Another three for the future Arkansas Razorback. In the SEC. Look at readiness. Sent, Jared, since their last field goal or last point? Last points. Because Thomas, as Wilkinson misses uh, from inside, Thomas practices that shot. And it's an effective weapon for him. Robinson sprinting in for another basket. He now ranked in college. You have ranked players on your team. McClendon is not ranked as a junior. He scores there. Could that change? K.K. Robinson has been the story in this first half. And his game has been efficient for Oak Hill. The lefty headed to Arkansas. Knocks down shots at a high rate. I love his body control when he gets into the paint. He's got speed in the open floor. Good finish game. to four. Oh, kill with a shot here. Here's Robinson. Oh, knocked out of his hands by McClendon. As Aguero off the window, but no good at the buzzer. Oak Hill with the lead, 37-32 over Bishop Gorman at the half. Led by K.K. Robinson, 17 points. And Wani Wilkinson has 15 for Bishop Gorman. It's Roselle Catholic. That was a big win. Historically a strong program in New Jersey. Robin up, McClendon to Wilkinson for the slam. Yeah, that's been the new dynamic duo for Bishop Gorman, McClendon and Wilkinson. And McClendon is playing that point guard spot with Collins hurt. Foul called. Another look. Watch and Wani Wilkinson goes back door. He gets a back screen. Beautiful execution by Bishop Gorman. Good timing by McClendon to wait. Perfect pass. Signal there. They called it on Bento. Thomas falling away. Wilkinson with the rebound. Oh, Thomas the strip. As easy a bucket as he will ever score. Well, I was watching Cam Thomas run back on defense. He was reading the eyes of the inbound. Beautiful. And Braggs money from distance. Two-point game. Thomas sneaking through traffic. He flips it in with a foul. 
Cam Thomas, such a tough cover. Cam Thomas can get buckets in a variety of ways. Puts it on the deck, slithers around. Multiple out of the game. Thomas loves to put it on the deck, try to get to the rim. We saw his float game earlier. Turn around. Ryan Abelman, the sophomore, with his second field goal. Evan Johnson, the floater at the other end for Oak Hill. Thomas the strip. Another run out opportunity. He is hungry, starving for points. Starting to pile them up. He's starting to pile up the steals as well. Got the step on Abelman. Oh, and he barks at Abelman as well. The layup leading to a timeout for Bishop Gorman. Cam Thomas starting to rev the engine for Oak Hill. Well, you love the energy that Cam Thomas is playing with. Here's the pick. Now the push. Good defense. But what he did after the second bucket. So Baylor takes its turn as the number one team in the country. What a wild year it's been in college no. basketball, right? Seven different number one teams. Oh, it's been so exciting. It's, it's like buying a lottery ticket. You don't know who's going to win. But there's a lot of work to do to get to that big league. Johnson to the rim for the layup. He's got six. Most of the two guards in the NBA is 6'5 and 6'6. Six, six. Will McClendon count it plus one. A chance at three the hard way for the junior, Will McClendon. And we've got a timeout. McClendon will be at the line after the break. Down the baseline. Thomas running into two defenders. Good defense by Bishop Gorman. They held their ground. Ten to shoot. Johnson slicing in. High off the window for two. Two years or Cole Anthony for just one season. Abelman from the outside, the sophomore hits again. Jalen hoots Shafino, one of the top sophomores in the country. That doesn't drop for McClendon. Final minute of the third quarter. Johnson out to K.K. Robinson. K.O. from the outside. He is 4-3. Run out dunk for Lamar after the made three-pointer. Steve Smith is going to talk about that in the huddle. He's going to say, hey, KK, good shot. Team, how come nobody got back on the shot? You can't get a three and give up a dunk. About eight seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Let's see how they try to free up Thomas. Off the screen. Three ball is a swish. Esauero with the deflection. 5.7 to go. What a third quarter for Cam Thomas. And that's what he can do, explode in the middle of a game. Set on the onset of this game. He can go for big numbers. And when he goes left, he loves to pull up into that jump shot or get to the step back. Anytime he comes off the screen, I would blitz him. That means send two guys at him, make him give it up. Wilkinson in deep, nice move in the final seconds of the third quarter. So Bishop Gorman is within single digits as we head to the fourth. 59-51 Oak Hill. K.K. Robinson with 20 points. Cam Thomas has 20 for the Warriors. Thomas, one of the elite scorers in the game. Watch him come off this ball screen, freeze it right there, okay? He's coming off the screen, there's no help. And when there's no help on Cam Thomas, there's no chance to stop him. You got a hedge, you got a switch. There's gotta be a defender. He reminds me in some ways of a guy like a Lou Williams type, can really score the ball. Boy, wouldn't he be instant offense off the bench? 
if he embraced that role that you mentioned Lou Williams. No question about it. And come into a game knowing that you're going to shoot it. Team needs you to score, and that's what you do best. KK Robinson has scored as well. It has not been all Thomas today for Oak Hill. Top 100 of the senior class. You're elite, whether you're 20 or 80. Look at that. Oh, Thomas. That is touch. That is a tough shot. 12, 13 feet from the basket. Guy behind you, a guy in front of you. Oh, Wilkinson, the punch. That was intense. Thomas into the corner. Jalen Ricks, the junior, with the three ball. Ricks's first points today, coming in the fourth quarter. Yeah, Bishop Gorman is coming on right now, so that was a big shot for Oak Hill. But a response from Amwani Wilkinson. He had the jam, now he connects on the three. Up Oak Hill, just like that, 15 to shoot. Robinson. Oh, the wraparound feed to Emmanuel Okopomo. That's a transition suffers. McClendon. Seven Johnson, five minutes to play. Oh, the right hand, just the shovel. And that goes in. Wow. Yeah. Lamar hustles for the rebound. McClendon catching fire. That's a three. Now 12 for Will McClendon, big hand. Versus letting him go left. Slashing back to the right. Nice job by Abelman closing out on him. Tip up is good for Derek Jones. Great effort by Derek Jones. Towson signee with the bucket. Oh, another three ball for Will McClendon. Two in a row. Saturday uh, in their win over Roselle Catholic and never return. Three-pointer for Darius Maddox. He's better than 50% from outside the arc for Oak Hill this season. And again, Barnes for sure at this rate, you would imagine. If they keep going on the path they're on, yes, and Dayron Sharp has a chance someday. And sure. Look at Caleb Houston, skilled underclassman. Thomas, strong move. That drops in with a foul. Cam Thomas lighting it up here in the second half. When he goes right, he wants to go all the way to the basket. Defense all over him. Defense has to step up on the help side. He goes to his right. He's going to work on that stop on a dime, shooting the ball. And going left, he's got to get to the basket with his left hand. Clendon, the crossover and the finish on the glass. Because the really great scorers, beside getting to the line, can go with either hand. Thomas, the finger roll. A little jelly there. A little jelly roll here in the Northeast. I can go for a jelly roll right now. Brayden Lamar with the bucket. Remember the jelly fan a couple of years ago? I do. With uh, Javon Quinterly. Yep. All trying to get the commitment. Linden, that's short, but the follow. Mo Kalaf, the senior, his first basket. Timeout with 40. Out for Oak Hill, Cam Thomas heating up in this second half, 29 points. Well, he does it in a variety of ways with an extremely soft touch. Very good at the steal game. Has three this afternoon. When he gets to that left hand, boy, does he have a pull up and a step back. You know, you go on the road in the SEC, and maybe he gets you 30. KK Robinson with 24 himself to compliment Thomas today. Good effort by Bishop Gorman. Oak Hill, the one-two punch of KK Robinson and Cam Thomas. Too much this afternoon. Way too much. Thomas with 29, Robinson with 24, and Oak Hill beats Bishop Gorman 84 to 70. For Paul B. and Cardi, Adam Finkelstein, and our entire crew, Ted Emmerich saying so long for now. Join us 5 Eastern here on ESPNU. Number one Montford will match up with McEachern.